Ukonaje kwanza? Siku tatu baada ya kutangazwa kwa matokeo ya mtihani wa mwaka huu wa darasa la nane, wazazi na wanafunzi kadhaa wameelekea kotini kuwasilisha lalama zao. Wakili Dansan Omari ambaye anawakilisha malalamishi ya wanafunzi na wazazi hao kotini akiwahutubia wanahabari katika koti ya milimani, amemnyoshea kidole cha lawama waziri wa elimu Ezekiel Machogu huku akidai kwamba matokeo aliyotangaza wiki jana yalijaa dosari. Uh, what we have today is a momentous situation in the country where young children below the ages of 18 through their parents have gone to school to challenge Kenya National Examination Council in terms of the irregularities in their exams. Wakili Dansa Nomari hameitaka baraza la kitaifa la mtiani NEC kwa kiki matokeo ya mtiani huo yaliotangazo ikijana hili kwa kikisha kwamba wanafunzi wote wanaulalama wamepata kiao. The children are here. They will tell us the type of preparation they did for their exams, what they expected, and what has come out, and the impact it is going to cause, or it has caused, to thousands and thousands of young st standard eight kids who did their exam. Kulingana na mnyakiti wa munga na wazazi karika shule amsingi ya kitaifa ya kitengela. Alama walizopata wanafunzi katika shule hiyo katika mtihani wa kitaifa wa darasa la nane sio alama walizotarajia. We are here today on a matter of grave concern representing representing the parents of Kitengela International Schools. My name is Engineer Paul Kyoko and we are coming before you to come and just give you the, our perspective about the, our kids who have just spoken that we were expecting very high marks as per the training that they have undergone because the kids do not have an academic or knowledge gaps according to the way they have been trained. Now we have a lot of evidence which our lawyer will be able to probably share. Wanafunzi na wazazi wa shule hizo mbili wagizungumza na wanahabari wameitaka serikali kuingilia kati na kusimamisha zoezi la uchaguzi wa kidato cha kwanza unaoendelea hadi matokeo ya wanao yafanyiwe marekebisho. I'd like to ask the government are you taxing our marks or what? Because if the ballot papers can be recounted, why not our marks? I repeat, if the ballot papers can be counted, why not our marks? We want justice for our children, the true mark, the true reflection of the abilities of our children. It's so hurting when the mother sits and looks at her child, not eat, waking up every morning, crying, because... She was not given justice. It's so painful. We just want justice. Kulingana na Omari, kuna shule ambazo wanafunzi walipata alama sawa katika somo moja, jambo wanalosema kuwa linaonyesha kuwa matokeo hayo yalikumbwa na dosari. Katika shule ya kimataifa ya Kitengela, mwanafunzi bora mwaka huu alikuwa na alama 358, tofauti na hapo awali ambapo zaidi ya wanafunzi moja walikuwa wanapata alama 400. We have done even mock exams. Most students are scoring above 400 marks. About 100 to 110 students scoring above 100, 400 marks. Sorry, uh, they are scoring around 470, 460. So if you standardize that, should be coming up to 3, 430 or 428. The one there is uh, student scored. But right now, our highest student scored 358. We believe that's not fair. Nikiripotia dira ya op kutoka hapa katika koti ya milimani, mimi ni Nicholas Kivite.